Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm going to do a Get Ready With Me Eyes using my friend Mary Glitzy Fritzy, her eye brushes. And there she is right on the package of Sigma. She picked out five eye brushes that she found to be her essential brushes. And I'm going to be using them today. And the only reason I didn't mention Sigma when I did my, my top 12 older brush video is I hadn't used Sigma before, but I am so pleased with their brushes. They have a two year guarantee and, and I think they're great. So I'm going to get started on my get ready with me. So I have on some just a tint from ColourPop on my lips. I have on mascara and navy eyeliner on my upper waterline and that's all. I don't have on any um, moisturizer. I'm just going to concentrate on my eyes and I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I usually do, I, of course, I, I like to wear my mascara first because I, if I do an eye look and I don't have on mascara, I don't like it. So I'm going to use the, the E25 blending brush and I'm just going to put some powder with SPF on my eyelids. No, I'm not. The first thing I'm going to do is, I, you can't buy this. This is from Tarte. It's my favorite eyelid primer, and I have to wear an eyelid primer. And I'm going to use this much, and it's going to do work for both eyes. Just going to pat it together. And i have it's just a necessity for me to have an um, eyelid primer. Then I'm going to take what's left and put it right here because that's where I'm my darkest. And then I'll go in to the powder and just powder my eyelids. And this will give it a smoother look all over. And if I get any on my eyelashes, I can just take a clean mascara wand and clean it off. But this is just my first step. And then I'm gonna put some powder on either side in that dark area right there. And then I'm going to use the Tartlet in Bloom. It is just an all matte eyeshadow. And I love the shades. And it's just an easy, easy shadow to work with. And I know I did a video about all my palettes. And this is one of them that I said I probably wouldn't repurchase. But if I ever really would use it up, I would repurchase it. But I doubt if I'll, I doubt if I'll ever have to buy another eyeshadow again. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow. <clears throat> I'm going to go in number one. It's called Super Mom, and I'm just going to go in the crease of my eye. I'm just using the same brush. That's a blending brush. And I'm using a row I usually don't use. I'm going to put it right in here. Real, just pack it in there. One of my very favorite shades of eyeshadow is gray, and I'm going to use the Power Play. And I'm going to put, use a different brush. And the brush I'm going to use is the eye shading brush to apply the gray, and that's number two. So I'm going to put that on the outer third of my lid. I am going to bring in a little bit of uh, sparkle in a few minutes. And it really doesn't have to be hard, just as I'm bringing that up in my crease. And for me, I like to get above my crease too, because, you know, I've got a big, I've got a larger bone there, and I don't like it to look as prominent. So I'm going to take the small blending brush, it's a lot smaller. And I'm going to go back into Power Play the Gray, and I'm going to just bring it on up. And everybody does eyeshadow differently. And I'm probably not even using these brushes the way I'm, you're supposed to, so that's why I'm going to link Mary's video so she can explain it all. But I just, I've had like 50 years of experience just playing with eyeshadows. Yeah, 50 years. And throughout those years, I've learned you can do a lot with one brush or two brushes. So anyway, it's nice to have a special brush for a certain thing. And this area right in here, 
that gets it kind of hangs down a little bit so I like to bring my eyeshadow there too and then for a little bit of shimmer I'm gonna bring out I have a couple of the Urban Decay singles and I think this is Midnight Cowboy and I'm gonna put some shimmer on my lid and it doesn't take much and I'm gonna use this shader brush just, I, did, I just pat it on and I think it makes me look like I have more lid space when I do this I'm gonna stop working on eyeshadow for just a minute and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I just use an old ashtray and I spray some eye some some hairspray on one side of it and I just use my spoolie and it, this has been working really really well I trimmed my eyebrows the other day and I haven't had since I've been using the derma roller and the brow the grande brow I haven't had to use any products in them besides just something to keep them in place because they do sometimes have a tendency to get a little bit bushy so I got them all trimmed and use this the old-fashioned hairspray and you know people talk about if it gets crunchy or not I'm sure it'll get crunchy but they'll stay in place all day long so I'm gonna use the other side and I'm gonna spray some water in my on the other side of my ashtray so I've got some water in there and then I'm gonna take this brush and I can't read the name I'll put it in it's a very fine brush and it's pointed and I'm gonna get it a little bit damp then I'm gonna go into the corner of fashionista just the very very corner of it and I'm going to make it an eyeliner and I'll start with the wing and do a little wing over here they're kind of like baby wings then I'm going to put a little bit more powder without getting any more water and I'm just going to line above my eyelashes and do the same on the other and I just kind of sometimes I draw it all in one time and sometimes I just do little short strokes so I cleaned off that brush and I'm going to get it damp again and I'm going to do it the same thing with the gray, the power play. And I purposefully don't add those together. I like a little space in between because I do think that makes my eyes look a little brighter. And I'm going to go put on my, the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in just a minute. So I went into my dressing room and I used one pump of the Tinted Moisturizer by Dermatology. That is all I needed. It's the, it is tinted, but it doesn't cover me enough. Uh, I'm, I don't count on sunscreen alone to protect my face from the sun. I wear hats, I wear sunglasses, and I, do, I really do try to avoid the sun directly on me. On my face, I use the Laura Geller in light, and I don't know how it'll show up on camera, but the light in Laura Geller it's darker than the medium in the it CC I'm a, I hope you can and this is what I used on my eyelids and the deep caverns by my nose the dark spots and then the only other thing I put on was some diffuse light blush from hourglass and I got the mini and I just love it it does it I think it just gives the cheeks a really pretty glow and if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And what I want to do is give away to one of my viewers, Mary's brush set, the same brushes I use today. So this is international. You have to be 18 years old or older, be subscribed to my channel. And in the comment section below, tell me something you're enjoying about summer because I'm having a hard time finding something. I know there's a lot of good things about it. Just tell me something that you like about summer. Thank you so much for watching. It is all good and uh, you take care and I will see you in my next video. And I have found, I'm gonna use this. Anyway, I'm gonna spray some. So I'm gonna take this brush and I'll line underneath my lids. 
and I purposefully don't fill in this. One of my favorite shades of eyeshadow is gray, and I'm gonna. Oh, favorite old older brush video.